Hello. How you doing, Basilia? Hope you're well. Oh, another cold one today. Hasn't stopped raining. Sucks. Also, I, I just saw a crazy cat fight outside between um, one of our cats and a cat I've never seen before. It was so loud, like it was freaked, freaked me out. I looked around the corner and they were just like staring each other down. I was like, oh, Jesus. And then they just kind of went their separate ways. Astral cat fight, yeah. They were both phased. I'm a phased. Nice, a day off. What what are you doing today? Anything nice? Or just chilling? Just chilling. Yo, it's just uh been quite busy today, so I was just uh trying to catch up on the Discord messages and I was kind of uh I like your idea of getting the gesticulating two pairs of gesticulating gloves for the strength. And I think I am going to, I know halberds are kind of hard to find, but if I find one good one, maybe we can clone it at some point. But I didn't, I didn't know that uh, multiple arms was kind of not great. Yo, 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 Frankie, how you doing, dude? Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for gesticulating. I'm guessing it's probably Tinker 2, at the very least. So, mm, might be difficult to, to implement, but um, who knows, we might find some good gloves with it already on. <clears throat> Man, my voice is going a little bit, I think. To be fair, you actually really like the plan of two two-handed weapons. Yeah, it's cool. Otherwise, I mean, it's not too late to spec into shields and have um, two axes and then shields in our our extra hands. I think next time we unlock an emote, I'm going to get a high. I completely forgot to, to even make one that says high. So I was thinking today, we'll play a little bit of CUD. And then maybe we can do a little bit of Cataclysm. Because uh, I was sort of playing for like half an hour today. Just getting to grips uh, with the obscene amount of uh, controls and all of the... Like the details. It, it, it took me like 25 minutes just to make my character. Right, yeah, so strength and shield. So we can we can stun with the shield bash and we also have days from uh from multiple arms, I think. Or double muscled, one of the two. Hello, Cosmic. How you doing? Be having a great Wednesday or or hump day as people call it. Which just makes me think of camels. You're good, good to hear. My friggin' my microphone keeps slouching. I need to get a new mic. Okay, stay. Dromad day, exactly. It's Dromad day, my dudes. Cut is very streamlined. I actually really appreciate that. Like in Cataclysm, it was cool because it's it's so random sometimes. And um, I don't know if you know about it, but there's a creature called Amigo. Which is like a kind of Lovecraftian beast. And there was one immediately outside. So that was interesting. You're a fan of Renee Lalou. 
L Lula. Who that? I don't know who that is. Who is Rene? Cosmic. You know nothing. Got you played for fifteen minutes and got discouraged. Yeah, I I can see why that would happen. Oh, you signed up for the Patreon today. Yeah, I've got three pets, um, but I've never used them because I know they'll die immediately. But they are quite cute. I think I actually got the pets. Somebody gifted them to me. I think that is the main perk of being a patron, Frank, is the, the pets. Maybe, maybe, hmm. I'm trying to think how you would use them without them dying immediately. I don't know. I actually don't know. Oh, this thing. Yeah, this is a French, uh, this is a French movie. I did not know the name of the artist. That's really cool, Cosmic. Um, yeah, I actually found this at... Um, where did I get this one? In Hyde Park, here in London, there's a... There's like a fair around Christmas time called Winter Wonderland. And they have a bunch of like stalls where you can buy like artwork. I think I might have got it from there. I was... Um, this is like the Japanese version of the poster. You can't really see, but it's got like Japanese... Uh, writing on it. It's kind of weird. It's got like a weird... It's got a very cud-esque creature in the bottom. If I move my head, you, you probably can't really make it out, but this thing here. Yeah, I watched I watched most of it on um, on YouTube. He did Gandahar. I've never seen Gandahar or heard of it. Psychiatrist that did car cartoons with his patients. Wow, really? I wish I could show you the rest of my artwork, but uh, my my camera is like fixed. Have an X Files, a giant X Files poster that says "I want to believe" behind my computer. And then I have uh, "Murders in the Rue Morgue" over there. Um, which is like an old Edgar Allan Poe, uh, and, it, and it, I think it has Bella Lugosi in it. And then I have like, uh, I have a bunch of, of random things around here. I have like a Frida Kahlo thing over there. If you didn't know this, I'm actually, I'm, I'm streaming from underneath my bed. <laughs> This this thing you can see here is uh is is my my bed frame, and it's it's um it's kind of cool. I like it. It's very cozy under here. It's like a double bed, but it's like six and a half foot off the ground, and I still haven't fallen out of bed. So that's the important thing because I probably would die because <laughs> I got like I got like another desk uh, over here. I know, right? It, it's uh, we've got really high ceilings in this house. Um, they're probably like nine foot or nine and a half foot, so there's plenty of room. Um, this room isn't particularly big, so yeah, it's a really good way of saving space. Yeah, me too. Me too, Frank. When um when I was growing, I've got a brother, and um, I mean, I always won because I'm I'm the eldest, but uh. <laughs> Yeah, we used to have bunk beds, and uh, I, I, this is a bit of a tangent. We used to have um, one time we had like this bunk bed, and uh, you know, like this wooden slats that you get underneath. 
Um, I think some of them must have like come out of place and I, <laughs> I was in bed and I fell through with the mattress and <laughs> my, and it all fell on top, we fell on top of my brother me and the uh, the the mattress <laughs> and then he fell through his it was hilarious not for him but all right cosmic you also had bunk beds i think they make bunk beds a little better now than they did back in the 90s but um the last time i, I slept in a bunk bed was probably like last year i went to a wedding uh on the coast down down south on the coast and we stayed at this lady's house it was an Airbnb but she was like a friend of the person whose wedding it was and um it was me and my best friend and he was he was in the bottom bunk I was in the top bunk um and right behind us like where our heads were there was a friggin like a boiler cupboard so he had the boiler cupboard that would be insanely loud anytime anybody used like the, the water and it was on the coast so you could just constantly hear seagulls it was horrendous it was like the worst it was like we were just laughing about it so much because it was like literally impossible to sleep good wedding though anyway let's get cutting shall we that happened to you as well cosmic you fell off one night and didn't wake up till your head hit your brother's toolbox. <sighs> your brother was the one that was crying, dude. You got the head of steel. You got a <laughs> titanium head. Oh no. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, that sounds horrific. Uh, what, what are we? We're level 25. Not bad. That's right, we just came here. Um, oh Christ. Because I've been playing Cataclysm, now I have to shift my brain back to CUD controls. Okay, yeah. You know what? I'm 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 a lefty, right? And I'm 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 looking for a keyboard. I think this exists. I might have mentioned this before. I'm looking for a keyboard with the numpad on the left, next to next to like caps lock, and tab. That'd be so much easier for me. Oh my god, cosmic! That is horrendous. You fell and your lower teeth got shoved through your lip. Oh, dude. Oh, just reading that makes me feel, uh, yeah, feel, <laughs> feel bad. That's awful. I'm once sledding on a toboggan. What, the same thing happened on a toboggan? Oh, what is this? I've never been on a toboggan. That's like, um... Is that just another word for a sled? Oh my god, Cosmic. What is going on? Oh, I have a, uh, a little Discord message here. Let me check this real quick. Oh my god. Basilia, thank you. Okay, it, it, that keyboard does exist. Reasonable price as well, to be honest. Normally left-handed stuff is like a lot more expensive. Is nonsense. Toboggans are large, large sleds. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if it was like one of the ones that you get like dogs to pull along. <laughs> Frank, yeah. That's bad real life RNG. IRL RNG. I've never really had anything like that happen to me. Um, like any kind of grotesque injury. I'm trying to think what the worst thing... Uh... I 
I've broken my foot once and then I had to ride a bike because I was in the middle of nowhere. That was um, uncomfortable, but that wasn't really like gross, you know. Um, right, we did speak to this guy, right? I also sliced my hand up uh, in a cornfield one time. When I, I pulled a piece of uh, like a, an ear of corn off the stalk and the you know like the leaves around the the corn cob they're they're like razor sharp and i like did this and i had to have stitches on my palm and then i i remember it was like the next day or the day after i went to the beach <laughs> with my with my family and i got salt water in it <laughs> and then my mum had to take me to the hospital again I've never had I've never had surgery. I've had um I've had some like procedures, but never I've never like been under rank. What did you cut yourself with, kid? Corn. <laughs> yeah. It's not a very metal uh not a very cool injury, you know. My brother though, he's had some mad injuries. Like, when he was six, he fell off the top of a wardrobe, and he broke his arm so badly, he had to have rods put in it. His elbow was, like, not in the right place that it should have been. Ah, okay. I've had the, um, I've had a colonoscopy before. TMI. That was kind of uncomfortable, but they didn't put me out for that. You're one inch less full of shit than most people. <laughs> That's a great way of looking at it, Frank. I've also had a gastroscopy. Where they put it down your throat. And that's just as bad, to be honest. That that sucked. Doesn't hurt. It's just the thought that freaks me out, you know? The, the thing that got to my head was the fact that if I wanted to, I couldn't just get up and leave. And that started to really, like, ruminate and freak me out. You know, like, oh, Jesus. Oh, you have Crohn's. Yeah, I mean, I have IBS, which is why I, I had mine. Man, Crohn's, yeah, Crohn's is rough. I hope you deal with that okay. Um, What the hell am I doing, by the way? Oh, yeah, I wanted to... um. I wanted to go to the stilt real quick and drop stuff. Free layer. So what is a what exactly is the gallbladder? I never really understood what that body part does. That was when you were 18, you've been in remission for decades. Oh, that's amazing, Basilia. I'm really glad. Diverticulitis, yeah. Oh, Frank, that's rough. It's a pointless body part. Yeah, Crohn's is no joke. I um I have uh I have two friends that have Crohn's and it's a massive apart from being you know incredibly uncomfortable it's also like a massive upheaval to your life I appear to be froze um it's a good time to use berserk I think there's a lot of frogs here this is a little bit scary I do not like this. Maybe we leave. <laughs> when you wake up from the surgery, they said, good news, only one inch was affected. You'll be fine now for the rest of your life. Amazing. That's great, Frank. Prones is like a really terrible, like, gastrointestinal 
uh, condition. It's like super IBS. And yeah, yeah, exactly. You have like terrible allergies. Yeah, it sucks. It, it freaking sucks. Wow, so we've all we've all got terrible Terrible intestines. We don't have one working intestine between us. this gas if we can. Autoimmune disorder where your immune system hates something living peacefully in your gut. Yeah. Yeah, Crohn's is rough. I'm uh, I'm really when I found out I didn't have it I was really really relieved. I do have a whole bunch of other crap with me but that's not one of them. Your gas run is going good. Maybe the what level are you now? Cosmic So I'll tell you what we will do now we're here. We can go and learn proselytize. What's that? Oh. Twenty five. Very good. Oh yeah, Golgotha should be easy. <laughs> it's like the fight between the security. That that's so funny. Uh, Any time, I'm surprised the security door hasn't killed that guy yet. <laughs> Let's go see what the uh, the drone mat has real quick. I do have um I do have quite bad scoliosis, which is why I'm I always have to try and make an effort to sit up straight. I also have this weird thing called H H uh, H H T. So I get random nosebleeds. But I'm also supposed to have like brain scans and lung scans because it can actually become quite a big problem. I've had some family members who have um well I guess kind of died as a result. Uh, I don't know why I'm laughing, but you know, distant family members. Um, this is cry still. Okay. Isn't it? Isn't it fucked? How like um, you know, not all of this is just completely random. It's um, it has like no. There's no reason for it, it just happens, and you're like, okay, great. Uh, we should have a mega ego right now. 24, damn. Yeah, I'm the same, Frank. I'm like... I, I didn't even know about my, um, my bad back until I was like in my mid-20s. I always kind of thought I was invincible. 
And then I hit like my late 20s and I was like, oh, everything hurts. <laughs> we are buying this Crystal Battle Axe, right? What, what do we currently have? Yeah, Folded Carbide. I'll try not to die, Basilia. Um, it'd be a lame way of dying, that's for sure. Where did all this junk come from? Our, uh, our face... We've got so much money right now. Our face collection is growing more and more every day. These solar cells, man, they're worth so much. I'm too gangster for sickness. I wish that was true, Frank. <laughs> Luckily, I have a way of guaranteeing that we find the ape god. And that's just by walking through the jungle and saying, Oh, I really want to find the ape god. And I guarantee that will work. I'm actually going to try it. I need to drink with him. I don't have that achievement yet. Give me some Reshef. No. There we go. There's the Reshef. So you just ask for it and the game gives you it. It's called RNG, sweetheart. Look it up. You have this life hack for shields and stun with high strength. I feel like is there is there like do you get diminishing returns at, at certain point for um for like strength? Bucklers are great, yeah, because you can just wear them on your arms. I pref I do prefer bucklers. The shields. Uh, let's take... I'm going to put this away for now, this two-handed one. And I'm going to equip... Till we can find a halberd. Uh, where's the Crystal Battle Axe? Here we go. How does the game determine what's your main... I know how it does your main hand, but what about your off... Like, your second main hand? Is it based on, like, the... the these are both upper. Does that actually mean anything to the game? Right, we're going to... Keep most of our faces in here for now. Where did we picked up another flamethrower? Apparently, I don't remember doing that. Yeah, the stun, the 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 stun, sh uh, the shield bash thing that stuns is so good. You're not sure. You think your irritable Geno might be putting points into the mutation that is on your weapon? It shouldn't be doing that, Cosmic. It should just be randomly leveling up something. We're a serial killer. Yeah, we really are. We're like a. Uh... I don't know, Ed Gein or one of those weirdos. Alright, that's good for now. What range weapon do we currently have? A laser rifle. Okay. I'll keep the carbine on us. Um... All right, let's uh, let's go look for the friggin' ape god then, just to see just to see if we can actually find him. Uh, 
I kind of would love to get the the face of the ape god, but I don't want to. I don't want to kill him if I can avoid it. Uh, yes. Ooh, is this time dilation of some kind? What was that? All right, here we go. I'm going to say I'm going to say the line. I I hope we can find the ape god. This actually looks like an okay ruin. Uh Okay, I'll, I'll say the line again in a second. Um, I'll have that and I'll have this. What's the ape god all about? Um, just, you know, monkeying around, being a, being a big gorilla boy. I, I think they should have given him like um they should have called him like a Donkey Kong or And then they could have got some um some of that Nintendo money. Who do you think would win in a fight between Donkey Kong and the Ape God in Cud? I think Donkey Kong would win. Personally, okay, I hope I find the Ape God. I hope I find the Ape God. I said, I hope I find the Ape God. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna mark the ruins, and then I'm gonna leave immediately. It would be nice to find the ape god. <laughs> I'm not. I think because we've acknowledged the fact that this works, it's now not working. The ape god would be cool. Yeah, it's always east of the ape village, isn't it? All right, one one more try. I hope I find the ape god. I should really be explore exploring these places, but um This goat folk village is called Mossdale. That sounds like a sleepy little suburb from like America. You reckon we can get to the freehold right now? I hope I find the ape god. Alright, it's not I see I do see the books there, but whatever. Yeah, should we get should we kill some goats? We're we are level twenty five. This is like I feel like we'll still get some good XP for that. Oh, this is a village. Okay.
Where's Mossdale? Here it is. Maybe we'll find the Ape God along the way? Alright, goats. You want to keep running? Fine. We cut his arm off. Okay, this is the only thing. Can these guys hit us in the air? Yes. Alright, I think we need to come down here. Come on, I know you're behind this tree somewhere. What? They, did they blow themselves up? I think they might have blew themselves off the screen. Like goats to the slaughter. Hell yeah. What emote is this? Glacier Smug. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, what you said uh, last month, Basilia, about changing our username. So that we can get a different prefix. Because I think it's... I think I can now change it. Let's just quickly auto-explore this. See if we can get books. Yeah, I'm, I just hope it works. Um... Because I think, unless you're a partner, which isn't going to happen for a very long time, if at all, then you, you, you just get a random prefix for all of your emotes. And ro what, what is it? Roger 55 That's like, that's too much. Right, let me kill this friggin' dingus down here. Where is this? Hmm. Do you think this historic site is in the rainbow forest? Let me unmark it so I can see better. Hmm. I don't know. This could be interesting. It does mention spores, so I don't know. You stand behind the the ratty. Yeah, me too. I really I really like that prefix. Yeah, cosmic. If you're flying, you can just leave at any time as well. Even in the middle of combat. Nope, no ape god, but I will try again, Frank. Maybe if we get some nav uh, modifiers, we can find it. Yeah, I wish we could fly over the... Um, the, rain the I hate the rainbow forest. It's like my least favorite area of the game. It's okay for, for getting some experience, but it's also like... It's just frustrating, you know? Look, I'm just here to steal your books, and then I'll be gone, okay? The magic is indeed gone. But, we, you know, we'll tap into it again.
Sure, let's kill some goats on the way. Easy. Do we wait? Rubber suits. Do we need that for a quest? No. By the way, this is an easy one that we could do reinforced. I think it's actually kind of a hassle fighting with flying, if I'm being honest. Your buckler. Uh, I think I'm actually going to equip this. I kind of like the idea of specking into shields very soon. Do we have any points at the moment? No, we're 31. Hey, Mr. Garg, how you doing? How you gargling? Swoop is bad because you have such high chance to fall down. Yeah. Also, just from a controller standpoint, it's um just annoying to to get to to work. Like you have to hold uh, control whilst you do it. Oh yeah, we have tinkering now, don't we? We have um, disassemble. Need to remember that next time. Doing good. Glad to hear it, Mr. Garg. Alright, I don't think this is in the Rainbow Forest. Although this looks exactly like the kind of thing that a weep would... Uh, Hmm, it is in the Rainbow Forest. Oh yeah, I'm flying. I'm over here. God, I hate that attack. This is real bad. Um, can I fly right now? Ooh. Get me away from the confusion gas at the very least. I don't think flying actually saves you from being gassed, does it? No, it does not. Um, let's go here and catch our breath. Oof. We cut his dorsal fin off, dude. That's rough. Look at this. Hold on, is this... Okay, he's just covered in wine. Never mind. Um... But hey, we're about to get a nice artifact. Right? No stuns, please. You're working on Elden Ring. Nice. What level are you? 
I've been... Look at this nonsense. How do you spawn that right next to me? I've been kind of tempted to restart Elden Ring recently. We cut his head off. Are you doing it solo? Level 112, nice. What was the last boss that you beat? Have you beaten Melania yet? Come on, you're telling me you can't hit that? Wait for this confusion to try and... Okay, now they're spawning... The sludges, which is, um... What I was kind of scared of, to be honest. Let's fly. Also, mad poles. What is this? Primordial? Yeah, okay. You just beat Morgoth. Nice. Have you, um, have you see have you encountered the, um, the loathsome dung eater? That's the funniest name in any game ever. Oh no, they're throwing water at me. What will I do? You made a puppet out of him. <laughs> They don't really have a reason to be scared of mad poles on this character with our regen. Nice. I kind of think maybe now it, we start saving our mutation points. What do you think? Can we buy ourselves something? There's a, there's um, there's somebody I can learn shield from. Who was it? Somebody teaches shield. Is it wardens that teach you to use shield? Because we could save ourselves a hundred points. Let's go. Hey Gong. <laughs> hey Gong. <laughs> Thanks Vasco, appreciate it man. Hope you're well. How you doing? How's your week? Hey Gong. Esther and the guy in the freehold teach shield. Thanks and Lino. Welcome back dude. Hope you're well. You often save mutation points at the start of the game. Indrix teaches Intimidate. Okay, I'll probably save my points then. Thank you so much for the resub, Vasco. A true legend. Alright, we're getting quite a lot of sludges here. Let's, uh, let's go vertical, as the kids say. Um... Look at all these urchins everywhere, dude. I just want to get to the stairs. Um, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to move across. I'm going to pop my head up here. Ooh, little froggy.
You're ill. Oh no, what's up? What's up, Vasco? Not going to tomorrow though, so you know now. How was the, um... What was it you went to watch? You went to watch Scream? <clears throat> Scream 6 and... Scream 5 and Scream 6 or something? Last week? How was that? Oh, flu. Yeah, that's rough. I'm really lucky. I, I never really get sick like that. I've, I, I still haven't had COVID either. Somehow. Or at least maybe I have, but I just was asymptomatic. I don't know, but I, I don't think I have. The screams were good. Ah, oh, awesome. What kind of sludge are you? A tetra sludge. Alright, that's a little bit scary. Maybe we can proselytize. I don't think you can proselytize a sludge, but I'm going to try anyway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, well, let's uh, swoop out of the way here. Pick up my weapons. Oh, he took my... He took my laser rifle. Where is it? On this map? Yes, it is on this map. You know what? It's flamethrower time. Proper funny, not very scary. Is so... Is, is, is this a new Scream film? Are they still making them? Is it still, um... What's his name? What's the director's name who did the original Scream? Wes... Wes Craven. Did, did Wes Craven do Scream? Or am I imagining that? Wes Craven is dead. What? When did this happen? <laughs> okay. RIP to a real one. Um... You can proselytize, Frank. Yeah, I think you can. I think you're right. I think you can. We can proselytize them. Because I, I think I've also had jellies before. Wait for all of this stupid gas to disperse. I didn't know Wes Craven was dead. Um, oops. All right, here we go. Historic site number three. The reason I was I, I mentioned Wes Craven is because um I was watching a thing about uh you know the Friday the Thirteenth no Nightmare on Elm Street sorry movies we've never actually seen any of them because I don't really care about horror but um I think on like there's one film where it's really meta where he's like in his own film playing himself I thought that was kind of cool. Alright, I think we switch back to the uh, laser rifle now. We're almost out of oil, so... Little jelly babies following us around. Would you like a jelly baby? I friggin' love jelly babies, Basilia. They're so good. Especially the green ones. Mmm. Oops.
think he was one of the first people to do that proper clever thing with his genre. Yeah, I, I think so. That like, I think this was like in the 90s when this one came out, early 90s, maybe. I love anything meta like that, like self-referential. It's, um, I think it's really cool. This is going to be a tedious historical site. A jelly baby sounds messy. Yeah, a jelly baby, Frank, is like a little kind of, um, it's like a little gelatin, but like not the chewy gelatin, like the kind of, um, the firm one that you can bite through, almost like a, like a Turkish delight kind of texture. Yeah, it's like a gummy bear. I've I've never I've never I think I may have seen being John Malkovich. Obviously I know who John Malkovich is, but um I don't think I was really watching it because I was like I do not care about this. Is it like a, a biopic or is it actually something a bit more interesting? <laughs> hey Storm, how you doing? How's the barista life going? Brewing up the cappuccinos. That's amazing. If only I had like a... a is there a command in Streamlabs where I can add quotes? Because that's a great quote. We cut his face off, by the way. That's a new face for our collection. Give me this. I was going to say Basilia. I thought, yeah, I did think Jelly Babies were British, but I wasn't sure if you maybe you had them in the US as well. But I'm glad you know what they are. Also, Basilia, I was really happy to read, uh, I haven't replied to the comments on YouTube yet, but um, that you are also a fan of Ian, Ian Banks's culture series. What a great set of books. You haven't seen it for a while, to be honest, but there's a door or a cupboard or a bush that you walk through, and then you go inside John Malkovich's head, and you control him. Wow. Okay, I didn't know the film was like that. Like a possession film. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing good, thanks, Storm. Uh, how was the uh, Shakshuka? It looked amazing. Thank you for posting. Every I think everybody on the Discord thought the same. Like, holy crap. I, I saw the pictures. It was like midnight, and I was like, I was really hungry, and I was like, oh, I wish I hadn't seen it just yet. It looked so good. FYI, Being John Malkovich is actually a good movie. Really? Okay, maybe that maybe that's one I'll add to the list. I've got about 50 films that I need to watch. Yeah, oh, Vasco, you you also like Ian Banks. Yeah, I love his... I, I, I've never read his non-fiction. I've never read, like, Wasp Factory. But I think his, um... His fiction, his sci-fi stuff is amazing. I, I reread uh, Consider Phlebas, like... Every two years, maybe? Even though a lot of people think that's the weakest book in the series, I, I love it because it was like the first one I read. I read them all in order. Okay, I'm a little bit scared that we're um in a corner here. Alright, there's another face. Here they come. This is going to be rough. This is really rough. Um, seeing a lot of red on the minimap. Yeah, the fact that Ian Banks is dead is, is very sad. He was Scottish, right, Vasco? The shakshuka was, looked so yummy, made me want to learn how to do it. Yeah, like when I saw the eggs in there as well, the poached eggs, I was like, man. Turned out well. I'm glad. Was it for, was it for you and you and your wife? He was, he was, yeah, I feel like Ian Banks was quite ahead of his time. I mean, I think the, the culture st stuff started to come out in, I'm just going to have to guess where I'm going here. I think that came out in like the late 80s. All 
All right, can I cook now, please? I'm going to try what Basilia said. Cook with... Oh, maybe we don't have any. Okay, we don't have any. Never mind. Quickness. Quickness is always good. Right, uh, about a whiskey as well as, as well in a book. It's super easy to cook. You customize it with whatever veggies you have to. Yeah, Vasco, I was like, uh, I was trying to pass that sentence in my head and I was like, uh, what? Are you, so, so Vasco, you use speech to text on Twitch. I think you might be the only person that does that. That's actually kind of uh, kind of cool. I used to work for a guy who um, he was like an older older man, and um, he would use it for everything, even his emails. <laughs> none of his none of his fucking company emails ever made any sense. It was so funny. Sometimes he would say full stop, but instead of putting full stop, it would just say <laughs> it would just say full stop in the email. Speaking of strange movies, you, you just watch Skinner Skinner No, I've never even heard of that storm. What what the hell is Skinner Marink? Oh, because you're cooking dinner and you got raw chicken. <laughs> you know what Vasco I've read that if you get raw chicken on your hands the best thing to do is to lick it off it boosts it boosts your immune system it's called like vitamin E I think it stands for vitamin E coli or something what are you making Vasco with the chicken Raw chicken is good for the eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, what do you use to do? Is it just built into your your phone or your tablet? My phone's about seven years old, so I can't really do anything with mine. I refuse to upgrade it because I resent having to have a phone. I'm one of those people. Come on. Ooh, chicken curry. Chicken curry for three people and chicken nuggets for one fussy one. Nice. I freaking love ch chicken curry is like my go-to. Like uh, in the slow cooker, I make like butter chicken. So good. I think we just go downstairs. We don't really need to kill everything here. You only upgrade your phone when the gl glass cracks. Yeah, Frank, I have never cracked my phone or any phone for that matter. Uh, I'm super careful uh, with, with it. I'm one of those people that's like constantly checking their phone. Skinner Marink is an experimental horror movie that came out a couple months back. It's about two kids who wake up to find their parents are gone and all of the doors and windows of the house have, house have vanished. Barely any dialogue, mostly just long lingering shots of pitch black hallways and rooms. That sounds creepy. Wow, okay. Hmm, I'll have to Google that. 
Storm, do you, do you, are you familiar with Red Letter Media? I've spoken about them before on the show. It's like my favourite YouTube channel. I think you'd really like it. Um, Red Letter Media. And these guys have damage reflection, but I'm not worried about that, really. Freaking confusion urchins. Gonna be potentially rough if we get stunned here. Luckily, we're in a pretty good defensible position. Oh, you're a big horror movie fan, Frank. Now I can keep shooting straight here. Come on. It looks like David Lynch directed the back rooms. Hmm. I'm a big fan of David Lynch. Like this this is this sucks. We gotta go through here. Luckily I can memorize where all of this crap is. There we go. Also, a, sk a skin of marink. It sounds like um like an old English word for like a sa like a a newt or something. Like a lesser crested skin of marink. Does anyone agree with that, or is that just me? Crystal Mace. But alright, Longsword. I think I need that for a quest. Right? A beetle quest. Ah, two-handed Fullerite. Okay, that's not happening. Wow, Storm. I I I mean I'm not really a horror fan, but I'm I'm open to checking this out. Maybe I can like force one of my friends to watch it with me. <laughs> Skinamarink sounds like it could be a Swedish monster that steals kids. Yeah. Why Swedish? I'll tell you why Swedish. Because they've got all kinds of really cool, uh, like, woodland uh, monsters. It also sounds like it could be an Irish, uh, like, bog monster or something. And now we wait. Here we go. Um, no, I don't want that. Yes, I'll have that. The folk tiles are great. Yeah, is that where the um? What's that Christmas monster called? I think they made a movie about it. Hold up, we didn't look in this chest, did we? Do you think this is a... The sun gate? Tempting. Krampus, that's the one.
Fun fact, your ancestors are part Irish and Scottish. Your first name is super French and your last name is extremely English. Is it like... Smith? Frank Smith. Luckily, I know the secret here to identifying where you're being attacked from. With confusion. Alright, I think we got them all. Skinamarink versus the Babadook. Hell yeah, that would now that would be a movie. With its hooks for hands, Skinamarink would win. Oh, for sure. That'd be. Imagine having a hook. Uh, well, I mean, I guess some people do have hooks for hands, but personally, if I lost a hand, don't give me a hook. Give me a prosthetic hand. I'm not trying to do a Abu Hamza cosplay. You know? That's one for you, Vasco. You probably remember that guy. Your last name is one of the Beatles. Ah, okay. If your last name is McCartney, I'm going to actually shit. Obviously, do not dox yourself. I'm just saying, that's amazing. Frank, given you really like horror, you should check out all, all my friends hate me. It's like if The Office was a horror movie, what the hell? Oh, okay, it's George's last name. I mean, I was going to say I won't say it on stream, but everybody knows <laughs> his surname, right? <laughs> Is an Eigen Rifle better than a Laser Rifle? And also, is a Fullerite Battle Axe better than a Crysteel one? Let's, let's have a look here. Let's take both of these. Laser Rifle, 9 Penetration, 1d12. Wow, it is better than a Laser Rifle. Okay, let's use this. And Battle Axe, 10 penetration, 1d8 plus 1. Okay, so it's not quite as good as the Crystal, but it's still good enough to, to use here. I really like the, actually, before I use this Eigen Rifle, let me put a different cell in that, because I might be selling the... Here we go, use the Biodynamic. I'm going to be selling the Fermo Electric Cells for a lot of money. Yeah, I, I, I watched the, uh, the US office for the first time maybe three or four years ago, and I actually really liked it, for the most part. Um, it was really good. Yeah, Frank, that's that's kind of how I feel, you know? I feel like, who the hell's going to want to dox me? You want to steal my, my bank details? Enjoy having no money. This is a this is one of the more tedious historical sites. Nice. You know when you get confused in this game, what what kind of save is it? Is it a toughness save or is that just for being stunned? 
I would really like to know. Or is it an ego? I guess it would make sense if it's like an ego save. Yeah, I'm going to come all the way to uh, to Canada. Just look through your window, Frank. Okay, let's... Uh... live in a semi-basement apartment apartment did i say apartment sometimes i i i listen to to myself back and I, I can't remember what word i said what is a semi-basement apartment does that mean you have like one of those one of your floors is slightly sunken below the ground i always thought that was really cool there's a lot of places like that in london The trip would be more expensive. Yeah, exactly. Just don't search for your crypto. Ah, okay, so the, the attack is versus your mental armor. That makes more sense. Okay. Thanks, Basilia. Basilia, you want to come to uh, Quebec with us and dox Frank? There might be some poutine in it. Get these friggin' urchins out of my face. Alright, that's fine as well. Give me a level up. Um, we're saving our points, right? Yeah, we're gonna buy something new. Uh, okay, we've got one attribute point here. Semi-basement apartment means you live in a basement, but it only goes halfway. Ah, oh, one of those! Okay. You ate the poutine yesterday. There's chicken nuggets, though. Yeah, but we have chicken nuggets in the UK. I'm surprised I actually haven't seen anywhere selling poutine in um in the UK. What do I want here? Willpower is always nice, but I think... What do we need for level 2 uh, tinkering? 23 intelligence. Maybe toughness. I'm gonna go toughness. Alright, let's take, uh, let's actually buy tinkering now. Normality gas grenade mark two. Oh yeah. That's actually a nice, uh, recipe. No more twinning lamprey bullshit. You're always down for a good doxing and great poutine. Hell yeah. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be like the uh, a rogue rat meetup, but at Frank's house. Without his knowledge. And squeaky cheese curds. Sourcing squeaky cheese. You get them from a company called Cheese Brothers. <laughs> what? So, so is that the kind of because I I have a thing for um. This is a the complete tangent. I hate green uh, green beans. Right, they're like my all time least favorite vegetable. But probably the only vegetable I don't like, because when I eat them, they squeak between between my teeth. Is that? similar with pl with poutine okay i'm so glad these things are fighting each other what kind of cheese do they put in poutine just out of curiosity whoa we managed to disarm this we we cut his friggin we did we have a chain laser um 
This is a heavy weapon, right? Oh, we should have learned heavy. We should save for heavy weapons. This is... Yeah, it is a heavy weapon. Damn. I think I might use this. This seems kind of fun. Cheese curds. Um... I don't... Th I mean, I'm sure there are cheese curds here in the UK, but I've never, like, seen them in a supermarket or, or anything like that. Let's just try this out. Holy cow. The squishy and elastic, so this ah, uh, okay. Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, I, 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 I've never, never seen cheese curds. I've never spoken to any. I don't know where you would even get them. But it's just kind of surprising to me. Like here in London, I've never seen like uh, a, a Canadian restaurant, you know. might be the first bit that we've officially picked up it is nice oh okay so even even in america they don't really have cheese curds they use grated cheese instead poutinery how you doing spam is poutinery a real word because i love it I think that whale just fell down a, a hole. Canada doesn't even have Canadian restaurants. Do you have British restaurants? It, it, re I say restaurants in in quotation marks here in in Canada. And if you do, I bet it's just uh, either fish and chips or pub food, probably. We have some... There's like American diners and things like that. Yeah. You have pubs, some of which are English style. Bangers and mash with onion gravy. That's a classic Vasco. Sunday roast also. I haven't had a Sunday roast in a disgusting amount of time. I don't go home enough, unfortunately. Not a lot. There is one super expensive English restaurant downtown. Had a scotch egg with a plowman's lunch. It was amazing, but uh, what? Frank? Wait. You paid $150 for a scotch egg and a plowman's. Even even 150 Canadian. I'm trying to pass that. What is that in English? What is that in, in, in pounds? Oh my god. Because a scotch egg should cost no more than like one pound. And a plowman's is just a cheese and cheese and pickle sandwich, basically, right? You can't get a real English breakfast in Canada. Okay, but to be honest, I mean, an English breakfast is probably like one of the easiest things to make, right? As long as you've got a frying pan, you're good. 
It's a, if it's a restaurant called a pub, they might have British food. Right, okay. Like a hundred pounds. I can't believe that, Frank. I don't want to say that you've been conned, but uh, <laughs> I don't care if the chef had a name. I mean, I'm glad it was delicious. But I'm, I am, I am like incredulous that they would charge twenty pounds. Well, twenty dollars for a Scotch egg. Scotch eggs are not one one dollar outside of the UK. I mean, to be fair, they're not really one pound here. It's just what it's what I think the price should be. You know. There's so many breakfast restaurants here that you can find one on almost every corner. I think yeah, I, I'm I'm a, I'm a big believer in that breakfast food is like the greatest type of food you can get, you know. I don't think I've ever eaten a breakfast uh, like breakfast food that I didn't love. Okay, damn it, we're too fat. I'm gonna have to drop the chain laser. Interesting, I just see that you can't actually drop weapons from the inventory, from the equipment screen. Send us your address and we can find you, be your suppliers. Oh yeah. Dox, dox yourself even more, Frank. Uh, British regional food is way overpriced outside the UK because the ingredients and prep are harder and the food just isn't as good. Yeah. I mean, I, I think British food gets a bit of a, a bad rap. It's not the, the best thing in the world, obviously. But um, it's not that bad. If you enjoy, like... <laughs> pies and gravy it's it's amazing it's up there you know all right please be the last floor of this godforsaken place uh we don't have a ranged weapon equipped at the moment do we no The difference is that you can go to a British supermarket and get all sorts of nice prepared food. That's not the case in Canada. One thing that does kind of fascinate me in Canada is the bags of milk. How how do you store that? Obviously you store it in the in the fridge, but I mean does it not like Oh no, slosh out of the fridge or something? Oh yeah, I think I think that's a common thing, Frank. Um, the word, I mean, most people, most countries like laugh at British food, and I think that's fair enough. As long as you're a country that does have good national cuisine, like if if it's like I don't know Germans or something laughing about British food, then I'm like, come on, dude, pick your battle. But um, you know. Take it easy, Vasco. Enjoy your uh, your chicken. Remember to lick your fingers before you wash your hands. Take it easy, Vasco. Really, there was a book that said it can't be when I said, "Please let this be the last floor." The game, the game's listening. It's powered by Google. You have a plastic jug. And you put the bag in the jug and slice a little hole in the top of the bag and then pour it. Okay, that me that's, that's a good method, for sure.
Canada has no business laughing at British food. To be honest, I think, like, I feel like Britain, Canada, and the US, we all have, you know, equally as bad food, you know, in that there's not really much of, like, a food culture. Most of the good food you, you can buy in the UK is from another country, you know. <laughs> Let me just keep my phone here. You think for Quebec it comes from the old English, French wars and conflicts of colonization? Yeah, that's still that's still a big thing here in the UK. Like, it's very tongue in cheek now, but <clears throat> like the whole thing about. British and French people not getting on, kind of like, dude, that's like 400 years ago, let it go, you know? Wait for some of this gas to dissipate here. Bag milk depends on the region, it's probably because the milk gets shipped in tanks. Instead of stacking jugs in a refrigerated truck. Mm. Yeah, I, I love casserole, it's one of the easiest things to make, Storm, it's so good. Is that what you're thinking of doing next? America has Cajun, Creole... Yeah, that, that stuff is top tier, but again, that's that's from... That's like... Uh, where is that originally from? From Africa. Or from the Caribbean. Yeah, tuna casserole is great. I'm a big fan of sausage casserole. That's a really, uh, a really easy one to make. Tater tot casserole. What? What are tater tots? Are they just like um? I don't know. Uh, what's the word? I'm trying to think. I never eat them, but there is a word for it that I'm looking for. It's gone. It will come back to me. Cosmic. The word Cajun comes from Arcadian, a Quebec region where French people were deported. Really? Rice, canned cream of chicken soup. Ah, oh, that's nice that you make food for your family, Basilia. I haven't made food for anybody in forever. Unfortunately. Ever had pizza casserole? Oh my god. No, that sounds either incredible or horrendous. I haven't decided yet. Are these guys gonna be hard? Yeah, I'm a bit scared of this. Um These are palladium reef enemies. Spam, thanks for continuing the gift sub, dude. I appreciate that. Has it really been a month already since I gift subbed? The channel, wow. Thanks, Spam, I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you. Oh, there was a week left, ah, oh, okay. How do you make pizza casserole, Basilia? beef casserole I don't know maybe French it could, maybe casserole is French or it could be um it could be could even be British I don't know it's a very common thing here like casseroles and stews I freaking love stew Irish stew one of my all-time favorite dishes this is gonna be a rough fight FYI as long as we can continue decapitating right now with berserk We just cannot afford to be stunned. Okay, we did it, we did it. Ooh.
There's a tree in the way. Alright, let's wait for this to go. Penny pasta, pizza sauce, diced... Oh, so it's literally all of the... It's like... All of the ingredients for pizza, but put on pasta. And then coated with cheese. Storm, you gotta try beef casserole. Beef is so good. Beef is like the best meat. In my opinion. You got another face, by the way. This artifact better be worth it. Oh, more of these guys. Stews are bigger here too, yeah. I know, right, Frank? The stew is great, like... You have dumplings as well over there, Frank. Like stew and dumplings. That's one hell of a combo. Uh, what is happening? Casserole sounds very French to me, yeah. Casserole is a French word meaning saucepan. Ah. Huh. There you go. Yeah, thank you, France. Feels wrong to say that as a as a British person, but there you go. What do I do with the faces? Uh, I wear them for the ego boost, but also I'm going to be... If we can make, to, make it to the freehold and pick up some 3D cobblers, I'm going to be making us a little house. And um, we're going to be putting all of our faces in the house. A little collection, a little um, serial killer. Alright, we have a legendary urchin belcher here. Interesting that they went for this sprite. It's clearly like a sperm whale or something. All right, let's uh, let's decapitate this guy. We've cut two of his fins off, and now he's gone. We didn't get his face, but we did get his head. We could start collecting heads, but let's just stick with faces right now. Yes, we do need we need two faced. Uh, is that a level two mod? All right, there's the chest. So close. All right. Oh, of course, there's one more. So I'm, I'm assuming that these urchin belchers have full resistances to um, being confused and being stunned. If that's true, that would be a great creature to dominate. Alright, shall we see what this is? It's Tinker 1. Ah, okay. What the hell is this? some kind of armband all right well it's got it's got an armor value and quite a good dodge value so not bad i guess i don't know about is there any point really having any kind of bonus intelligence from an item Put it on our arm here. Is that the MA value? No, that's the the the, the armor and the dodge value. Those are the, those icons rep represent these two. Cosmic. All right, let's get out of here.
taco. This is our first taco. Officially. Some kind of pistol, huh? Laser pistol. Um, tell you what. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's, uh, let's disassemble some of this garbage. Let's, uh, let's take all of this. Drop the fullerite. Oh no, we don't need to. Grab the chest. All right, there we go. We're, we're officially done. After I kill these guys. Oh, so getting intelligence on an item does give you retroactive skill points. But if you level up again with that... Ah, okay, so you're incentivized if you have any intelligence equipment to put it on right before you level up for extra skill points. But we'll deduct them if you don't have the bone. Okay, thanks, Inlino. Thanks, Basilia. Yeah, I did not know that either. I didn't know that either, Storm. Yes, yeah, like taking a loan against your future. Man, we're so heavy, I, I hate this. You know what, sniper rifle? Be gone. Uh, I do need glass bottles, so I will take that. Alright, let's leave. In fact, if we can leave this place properly, i.e. through the door, yeah. I'm actually going to attempt possibly foolishly to make it to um, to the freehold we probably want this for the freehold right here's a question the palladium reef does that, does that also count as a lake On the fridge side, it does help with identify checks. Disassemble checks for extra bits. Okay, yeah. That's actually a good point. The reef counts as a lake. Okay. Makes sense. Just wanted to double check. Look at this sneaky part of the rainbow forest here. Trying to blend in with the jungle. Uh, let's go this way. Bing bong. Alright. We are reefed. We are fully reefed. Oh, uh, excuse me? A cherub? And a, a jeweler down here. Okay, this is a, this is a nice freehold. Holy cow. We, we got an extra friggin... A jeweler down here for trade good, goodness. I'm pogging. IRL. Like that. Uh, let's drop the chest here.
and before we dump the stuff let's just uh let's see what these guys have Kirka, you disappoint me as always all right this is good Alright, Tilifer. Free jeweler, yeah, can't complain about that. Proselytize the cherub, yeah, I was I was thinking about it. If we um I mean I'm assuming that the, the ego you would need would be like way out of our pathetic <laughs> nineteen. But we're here, before we put stuff away, let's go see what Bep has. My boy Bep. The best boy. Alright. Here's the recoiler. Lanterned. Just wear more faces, yeah. If, if we do see multiple faces, please let me know, because I will forget. Also, let me put my ego gear on right now. Loomflyer gives ego, right? Yeah. There you go, we're, we're up five ego. Four, if not a chimera. Two-headed with two two-faced helmets. Ah. Yeah. That would be it. Um. Take all of these solar cells. Oh, actually, we don't need to sell all of them. Alright, we can come back here now at any time. Uh, I probably will be digging through this wall at some point, but for now we'll leave it. I feel like it's probably a good idea, instead of putting all of our junk in a chest, to buy as many trade goods as we can. Although not these. Um... Yeah, only yellow trade goods. Solar cells suck, fidget cells suck. Okay, we don't need to sell this many. And I think we need herberries. One. Only one. How much can we buy tacos for? I don't think tacos are worth it for 800 rams. We can do better than that later on. You found a square cap for the first time ever. You, that means you killed somebody who just graduated, Cosmic. Hope you're proud of yourself. Yeah, Basilia, that'd be amazing if you could wear all of the um, all of the Sultan masks at once. They specifically took that feature out of the game. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep two chem cells on me. And all of the thermoelectric cells. Actually no, I can store these for now.
We don't need the laser rifle. I would like to take the chem cell out of it though. I I don't really understand why we're so heavy at the moment. I know we we've got like a lot of stuff equipped. Oh, we need to cook. That's one thing. Um, let's put campfire here. There we go. That'll reduce our weight. Wow, that reduced our weight by like 120 pounds. Not bad. Something's burning. Sorry. It was laying on the floor in a legendary gunsmith dungeon. Oh, okay. Learn to lose weight at this one simple trick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good point, Basilia. I, I think they must be, right? There must be a reason for having a legendary mark. Right, let's do some drinking here. Uh, hated by winged mammals. Okay, we aren't drinking with this guy. Because saps... Saps are winged mammals. And I don't want to be on their bad side, if I can help it. Hated by the ape village. Uh, that's that's fine. We can learn Spicer from him if we want. Please let me know if any of these songs that are playing in the background suck, by the way. Any of these um, Royalty 3... I am in the middle of um, having some of Frank's stuff on the channel. Some of his music, which is going to be really cool. Alright, let's see if we can find any sun slag. We can get lucky. Probably time to go back to Ezra now. Yeah, that's right, Storm. Yeah. Alright, who do we have here? Graphromites, winged mammals, dogs. Alright, dogs, I'm sorry, but... That's not a dog, FYI. That's a pelican, but cool. Um, We're gonna betray dogs. Or birds. Hmm. What do we care about less? Dogs. And we're going to get more rep with... I don't know. I know. I would never do this IRL. I love dogs, I promise. Remember, 
Nukomeo that grew a second head with an extra face on its face. Yeah, that was incredibly lucky, actually. I didn't, I guess I, at the time, I didn't actually think about how lucky that is. You know what, birds have some friggin' rep. Alright, done. Is this dog gonna come and try and mess me up now? No. Alright, what artifact did we get here? The Coiled Cap of Spiral Namorod. Cool. It's a, t it's a ganglionic teleprojector. Cool. It's padded. And it gives you electrical generation. This is a, an amazing... Artifact, dude. If we can get jacked, you know the um the chain laser that I dropped back in that historical site. That was jacked. Is this what we need? Right. All right. Awesome. Oh, also, what we could do, we could go and get chromed, if we want. What do you think? That could be fun. Yeah, I'm truly pogged right now. I'm, I'm ganglionic pilled. Um... Let's start by just handing this... Actually, no, I want to go and get chromed first. Let's go get chromed. Uh, and also... Oh, I need to... Replace this. Should we go pick up the jack chain laser? Because now if we have um, electrical generation, all right, awesome. Okay, that's why I'm being set on fire. I'm feeling a bit spicy right now. Is that oh it's just a okay he did drop a minstrels token how, how warm are we oh we're not that warm other stuff burn up all right yeah we're gonna go get chromed also does the charge for this yeah it only goes down when we uh when we use the ganglionic right Do you think the charge for that helmet will go down if we use electrical generation? Or is that that's just a passive thing, right? Mm 
I'm going to chrome first and then I'm going to go and pick up that chain laser. We should level up like any moment now. a boy exactly it'd be freaking sweet some kind of weird artifact huh hmm, gaslight chisel I'll take that right I think I remember how to do this we kill everything but the graph tech. Or maybe we don't use the graph tech this time. Maybe we use one of the other robots. What do the other ones do? Um, the graph tech gives you... Yeah, we really don't need it this time. What does graph tech give us again? It gives us armor value and resistances. The others are healers. Is it just the graph tech that gives you... it? There's there's three or four different uh, things you can get, right? One of them is chromed. One of them gives you, I feel like, agility. One Does one give you strength? They're all from him, though. Oh, okay, I see, Mr. Garg. Thank you. Hey, we found another square cap. Fire suppression. Great implant. Hold up. No, 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 no. Before we go, let's go grab this one. You could try getting the one you need if you had precog. Yeah. Not on the, Yeah, you have to actually have precognition. That's the only way of getting... Wow, we're actually lost. I see a Dromad. Yeah, yeah, no quantum jitters. That was a, that's fun. That's a really fun defect, but it's also Makes the game a lot more frustrating than it otherwise could be. Just give me books. Alright, we're going. Ooh, a secluded workshop. A legendary hatter. Let's just pop our head in and say hi. And there you go, we get free herbary out of it. And a laser pistol. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Who is the hat here? There's a gem cutter down here. All right. Um, can I afford these right now? Probably not. You never know. Do 
could be wearing my ego gear, but screw it. There we go. Bam, bam, out. Give me. Ah, all right. The sap is probably the hatter, right? Nope, he's just over here. Apparently, I missed him. Hated by trolls and admired by trolls at the same time. So he's admired by trolls for crafting them artisan hats, and then he's hated for refusing to craft them. This guy seems very indecisive. You know what, Basilia? I don't think the, the legendary mark does actually do anything. I think it's just there for flavor. Yeah, you know what? Now that we have jewelers, we could actually use the rock tumbler. I've never used it before. Yeah, they just cost more. Give me books or we're leaving. Um, excuse me? Yeah, it would be good if the... I agree, Vasily. It would be cool if the legendary mark, like, maybe gave you... Anything from a random pool that could be maybe like one extra stat point or even like just extra resistances or maybe like there was a chance that it uh, gave you an ability if you got really lucky. Do not pick that chair up. I'm done. All right. Roaming time. All right, the teleprojector is working, right? Yeah, we just need to not kill the graph techs here. It will make us blue for the remainder of the game, but that's fine. Same as tasty effect. Yeah, exactly. Does dog hate me? Yeah. Fair enough. You didn't see that. Alright, let's go downstairs here. the graph tech you can just come up here bud all right he killed him all right we've got a few of them and we've got some minestrone um, come up here, please. Here we go. Yeah, kill the Minestrone. The bat could come over here. That would be perfect. 
Nice. Come on, come past me. Alright, we may have to get the pickaxe. Bunch of minestrone. That would have been a problem. Let's do it. Let's ganglionic teleproject ourselves. Let's, um... Should we do a bet for this one? Let me quickly look at the wiki and see what we can get from the graph tech. And I will turn it into a bet. Yeah? You just found an artifact dagger on the ground in normal ruins. Look, whatever... It, cosmic. I can't believe the luck. You're stealing all of my um, my streamer luck. So if you could kindly stop, that would be great. Alright, there are three outcomes. I'm going to put a bet up right now. Um, what will the graph tech give us? There are three outcomes here. We've got chromed. Cyberized. And grafted. Uh, close, Mr. Garg. Yeah, chromed, cyberized, and grafted. Yeah, nice work, Cosmic, though. That's great. A teleporting dagger. Uh, let's do a two minute bet. If you want to earn some cheese, now is the time. Make your predictions. In the meantime, this is what, uh, these are the three outcomes. So grafted will give us between six and 12 HP. Between four and six strength. And four and six toughness. That would be a really good one for us, grafted. But I don't want to curse it. Cyberized would give us uh, between 6 and 12 hit points, between 4 and 6 agility, and 4 and 8 dodge value. And Chrome will give us 6 to 12 hit points, between 2 and 4 armor value, and between 50 and 75 heat and cold resist. So yeah, I'm, I, I hope we get grafted, but we'll see. Squish the cheese. <laughs> How did you do that, Basilia? I never... Um, when you pick to uh, edit an emote, what, what actually happens? I like that. That's cool. Squish cheese. Can I use that? Cheese wine. Mmm.
Rogo 55 Cheese SQ. Let me try. That's like four options. Oh, okay. No, I can't use it. Alright, the bet is over. Let's find out, shall we? Activate the cap. There you go, it happened instantly. We've been cyberized. Oh, uh, I think that's the one I wanted the least. I think that's the one that gives us extra agility. And dodge rally. We are cyberized. Although, actually, I mean, let's have a look here. Still pretty good. I mean, we have a lot more agility now. And I think best of all, look at this. It's not very often you can get 14 AV and the same, close to being the same for your dodge at the same. I feel like that's quite good. You've truly squashed your cheese, Basilia. It's gone. It's been squashed. It's been destroyed. Let's see who voted. Choose prediction outcome, cyberized. One person voted for Cyberize. Congrats if that's you. Was that you and Lino Cyberized? Congrats. You've won. Wow, you won like 10k cheese. <laughs> Enjoy it, and Lino. Alright, cool. We're cyberized. Let's get the heck out of here. Um, sure. Make a quick pit stop here at the uh, the six day still. Hand these books in and level up. Penelope pit stop. You guys remember wacky races? I think, yeah, Hanna Barbera cartoons were so good. Did you do? Uh, there used to be uh, obviously you know Cartoon Network. Then there used to be Boomerang, which main, mainly showed like older cartoons. So good. I think my first like <laughs> one of my first crushes was probably on Penelope Pitstop. <laughs> That's an embarrassing thing to admit, but I think it was. I was 28. Excuse me? Oh, we've got a pickaxe, that's why. Yeah, for real, Basilia. <laughs> I mean, other than the 28. I was actually 30. 
but the rest is true. Yeah, Penelope pit stop. And also Velma from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Ooh, books. Wow, we're getting so many ruins. I don't know how, because we don't even have, like, nav or anything. I think we're just getting lucky. Nice. From Reshef. No, I haven't, Basilia. No, nor do I want to, based on the, the, everything that people are saying about the new Velma show. Have you seen it? Is it any good? Are you the one person that likes it? I do like Mindy Kaling, but I... I I feel like she's um she's not very good at picking stuff to be in. It's terrible. Yeah. I would be I would be curious to watch it just to see how bad it is. HOMM3 music. Um HOMM Mr. Garg. House of Mr. Magoo. Um, horses only make music. Oh, Heroes of My Magic. That makes a bit more sense. Uh, I don't know. This is this is a uh, Streamlabs has their own royalty free music. Um, plug in and it's just from that but it probably is like if it's if you recognize it maybe it is based on heroes of my magic I've, that's a game series that i've never really played okay first of all let's level up right now Level 28. Alright, we're one point away from buying a new mutation here. Oh my god, you're right. I turned the music for card back on, didn't I? Like... Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> there we go. Fixed. Thanks, Basilia. Okay, uh, let's just quickly check what this guy has, see if we've got any poly gel would be nice, or any cloning draft from the other guy. Yeah, we can afford some herberies at the very least. Let's chuck uh, somebody else's face over ours. Did it somehow sync up the music? Look at this guy trying to pay us 300 for a taco. What a ripoff. Can probably pick this up as well then. Hmm. All right, maybe not the uh maybe not the two gold nuggets, maybe just the one.
Nope, no cloning draft. Alright. Grit gate, let's go back. The salt desert horns are really arrhythmic. Yeah, they, it's quite a... Uh, I don't know what the time signature is for that thing, but that's like one of the more abstract pieces of music for, the, for this game. Yeah. Uh, where is the... I don't know. If only you could rock tumbler nuggets into spheres, that would be cool. Or if you could carve your own trade goods into figurines, that would also be a really cool feature. Oh no. I always get really anxious for this quest. Oh, this is good. These are two good entry points. Um, you can be a water merchant. Why not a gem cutter? Exactly. All right, so they're attacking here in the main force. And then we, so this one, we can put the barriers up and, and activate the lasers. Uh, and then I think I'm going to wait over here. Barriers are already up, so that's a freebie, right? Have you? Do you play Wonder Mode often, Basilia? I never, I've never really played it. This one's already activated, right? Uh, I've lost my character. Oh, I'm here. Because I'm chromed, I'm like blending in.